All right, today we're doing a pie challenge, the mega pie challenge it's called actually, in a place called Melton Mowbray, which is in fact famous for pies. Pork pies, and this is not a pork pie, but I thought it was a connection worth mentioning, so it looks like I've done some kind of research for this thing. Anyway, just waiting for Mrs. Beard to come back. She'll never break it. <laughs> this, see, this is, the, this is the kind of thing that uh, I have to tolerate. Mrs. Beard has, she has like uh, a, an emergency supply of just dry bread cakes in the back of the car, or bread buns is what I would call them. I would tear in the back. I'll, I'm just gonna go to the drone shot, is that okay? <laughs> Enjoying your, uh, your dry bread cake there. Bap, bun, whatever you call it, depending on your uh, location in this country right now. Yeah, do you want a bit? Uh, it looks delicious, but no, I'll pass, thank you. Okay, your loss. Not another parallel barking debacle. <laughs> Not bad. If I'll give you like a six out of ten for that. Only took about a minute. This is it. The plow in. I do that whole barrel zoom thing a little bit too much, I think. Whoa. So what you got, like a, a, a beer is included. Ghost ship sounds kind of spooky. You have a ghost ship you like. You do know you've got to finish both drinks for this challenge. Yeah, no, that's what I'm worried about. I'm glad you got me one beer and one soft drink, which is within the rules. Yeah. I think two beers and, you know, I could have ended me. <laughs> The place is called the, the Plow Inn, right? If you finish it in an hour, you get a spot on the wall of fame and a winner's t-shirt. That's correct. Yeah? Yes. And it includes the, the drinks. The drinks are What about the gravy? Do you have to drink the gravy? <laughs> no. It's actually considerably larger than I thought it was going to be. You don't get this free. You don't get this free if you win. You get a t-shirt though. I love t-shirts. I do, yeah. So without uh, without further... <laughs> without further ado, this is Beer Mix Food and this is the... What was the name of it? The mega, the mega pie challenge. Oh, scooter! Ah, is that like a full piece of lamb? Right, I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. So, <laughs> shall I eat the vegetables first? With a little bit of gravy on them. What's up, Miami? Welcome back. Look at that beautiful piece of camera work from Mrs. Beard there. <laughs> That was awful. Anyway, today we're doing a pie challenge, which is, you know, a, a bit different. Wow, this, it's, not, it's not a practical food, it's not easy to eat. A food challenge that isn't easy to finish, there's something you don't see every day. <laughs> I think what I'm getting at is, it's a little bit awkward to eat, right? It takes some planning. This is a thinking man's food challenge, there's some intricacy to it. You don't just have to throw the food down. You gotta plan your way through this. <laughs> Alright. I don't know. <laughs> How do you eat something like this? Is that, is that like shoulder of lamb or yeah? I also think I'm I have to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of lamb. And I feel like if you choose the veggie pie, which of course I never would, it would be a lot easier if it was just a veggie pie, right? This makes it, I mean, this makes it look cooler with the bones sticking out, but it does make it more difficult. True. Unless, of course, the veggie pie is full of mushrooms. Thankfully, we'll never know. Anyway, today we're at a place called The Plow, taking on their mega pie challenge, which is a pay to play, meaning if you finish it, you don't get it free, but you do win a coveted winner's t shirt. That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this lady knows. Forget the table manners. Look at the steam coming off that. I'm gonna put that there, just to let it cool down a little. I'm gonna let these both cool off here. Yeah, which is gonna take a while. So we'll come back to those. This, like, I haven't even started the beer yet. I'm gonna soak up a little bit of the juice. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, both the pie and its filling are uh, too hot to eat, so yeah, I'm just gonna power through the mash, lubricated by a bit of meat juice. I don't know why I got pale ale. <laughs> oh, man, he's cooled down yet. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna warn you, any, any pale ale enthusiasts out there, that is not the last time I complain about the beer. <laughs> I might have to drink the beer at the end. <laughs> 
Oh, man. I'm going to get so much abuse for this. I I'm ready for it, though. Get down in the comments so uh, you can hammer me all you like. I think the meat's probably cooled down a little now. I've never eaten it like this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've eaten plenty of meat off the bone, naturally. Chicken, turkey, ribs. But um, I'm not entirely sure I've ever eaten, you know, a, a lamb shank, which I, I think is what this is. Straight off the shank. Is, is that, does that make sense? <laughs> Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this like a real pie now. I'm gonna put the filling back in there. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, pour that in there, Sonny Jim. Can't leave any juice behind. After to say at this point, I'm actually looking forward to the, the rest of the meal, with the exception of the beer, of course. <laughs> but the context of the pie, we're done with the bones and all the tricky stuff now. Just pastry and lovely, delicious meat. I don't want <laughs> Oh, the beer is awful. Alright, let's eat some pastry, that's gonna taste good. For sure. Yeah, not that the rest of it did not taste good, I should clarify. It was all fantastic, good, hearty British grub. The kind of thing, you know, you'd expect a medieval steward to eat before succumbing to gout. Oh, this beer is diabolical. I thought I'd get pale ale, you know, because it's a little lighter than, like, some huge, heavy stout. No, because if I drink too much of it at once, I'm going to lose this vampire all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Beer bought me some, some Christmas-themed meat, Christmas-flavoured mead, which was very nice, um, in contrast to this, which is not very nice. I can't tell you how glad I am. Like, you, normally, you're really mean, so I'm surprised you didn't give me two beers, because you get two drinks of your choice. No, I'm glad you just got me one, one beer and a, and a soft drink. Yeah, the rules actually are any two beverages of your choice. So yeah, if you teetotal, you can still give it a crack. This is Beard's auditioning for the Blue Man Group later on. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was an exceptionally blue shirt. Ooh, look at this guy. Stripping off in the background. Save it for the OnlyFans account, mate. Napkins to the face, that old move. What are we doing now? Just polishing off some pieces of succulent lamb. I think there are a few taters left in there. And of course, some gravy. Maybe a few peas, but um, I enjoyed this. I like pie. Who doesn't like pie? Gotta get this. That is refreshing, yes. I'm gonna have to pick it up and drink it. <laughs> there's no alternative. I'm sorry, there's no alternative. Yeah, it was inevitable. Shall I do the sound effect for authenticity? The gravy's nice. Uh, still a bit like table like Yeah, what would I do without her? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Just the uh, diet coats go now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll look terrible, but you know, it's quite rare that I get it this wrong. But this is probably the best place we could have sat. To be fair, this is no joke because that's two pints of liquid, then with the food on top. I don't think I have to eat a lemon. Yeah, is that cool? Yeah. Cats is finished. No dessert, sadly, but um, I am going to show you the t-shirt because I know people get mad when I don't show the t-shirt. So they've got it apparently, so I'm going to wait for it and I'll show you in a sec. It says I ate all the pie. I like that <laughs> one. That's cool. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. What do you reckon? I think that's a pretty cool t-shirt. You don't yeah. often get them in white because it is largely impractical. Who ate all the pie? I ate all the pie. <laughs>